Hey there, I am Strokeman, and with the announcement of the GTX 1080 and 1070, I decided that I would um make an overclocking video for video video for NVIDIA cards. And this method so far that I know only really works with not really works, but um is meant for cards that are the 400 series and higher. So, first what you want to do is you need to edit your XORC file. So, enter in the terminal sudo gedit forward slash etc forward slash x11 forward slash xor.conf. <coughs> enter your password. And then scroll down to the device section. This line right here will not be here. You have to enter this line. It's option cool bits 12. You could do cool bits 8, but if you do that, you won't have the capability of controlling your GPU fins. <coughs> That's what the 12 allows you to do. If you just did 8, which you could, you would only be able to overclock the uh, the GPU and the memory. So once you have that line entered in, and again this is mainly for the uh, 400 series cards and higher. I think if you have a lower one, all you have to do is cool bits one or cool bits four. I could be wrong, but just throwing that out. But after that. Um, <clears throat> Save, <coughs> save the file and you can just restart X server but I personally like to restart the computer so save the file start your computer and after that now you need to find out what your base clock speed is and uh, well first let me show you what those changes did if you open <coughs> your NVIDIA settings this is what it looks like, and this is for uh, driver version, driver version 361.42. Sometimes that makes a difference with uh, if this works or not. But go to your power miser section, and you'll see this new section right here that uh, lets you enter in a value. When you first do this, both of these will be a zero. But this is an additional megahertz to whatever your base clock is so right now I have my base clock plus 150 megahertz so and where uh, the, you control the fans that's in thermal settings you have to have this checked and then you can put down the percentage of how fast your winter fans still go so right now my fans are at 50% Okay. Alright. So now to find your base clock, I'm sure there's a way to do this in the terminal quickly, but I'm going to use Unigen Valley because it's also going to output my heat, which is something I definitely would like to know while overclocking. So you would um, I'm doing this with Unigen Valley and I'm not going to show you how to get it running because I already have a video explaining that so I will just have that the link to that in the description so once you have Unigen Valley uh, run it and the settings I have mine at is that ultra anti-aliasing is at 8 and my resolution is at eight, uh, the system so you want to hit run and now up in the corner and if anyone's wondering about my FPS it should be a little bit lower because I'm recording right now but anyway uh, up in the corner right where it says graphics that is what your base clock clock speed will be. Like I said earlier, my um, 
graphics card is overclocked by 150 megahertz so right now that that's what the total is but my base clock speed is 1328 megahertz and then right underneath that it shows what the memory is at and it shows what the temperature of your card is so now that you know what the base clock speed of your card is you want to go back to NVIDIA settings and now just start just start playing with that number do it by little increments maybe of like I don't know 20 or something and just run Unigen Valley let it loop if you get any crashes or anything just restart and um, just restart and try again and right now as is this automatically resets every time you do and I will show you how to to uh, make it so whenever it does your computer does restart the the um, overclock will stay and um, but for now, what you would want to do is just find a stable clock speed that works for you. Me personally, I did have this at 200 and it did work for a little bit. And then it crashed on me. So right now I'm just playing it safe by being at 150 megahertz. But uh, the, the way to make it so, so after you find out what is your ideal clock speed and you can even play with the the memory if you want to also but after you find that out to make it actually stay on reboot uh, the easiest way that I found is to actually make a startup script and here it is right here You just have to have these settings in your uh, startup script and then add it to your startup applications. So make a, make a new file in gedit, name it something, name it whatever you want but make sure it has the .sh uh, extension. And then I, I could have this, in fact I, I think I will just have this in the description. But uh. The first line is the one that actually sets your clock speed. The second line is what enables the fan control. This, because this, if you uh, also do want to control your fans, you have to set the um, the uh, GPU fan control to true. And then the final one is just actually setting your fan speed so my my startup script is overclocking it to 150 megahertz enabling the the um, the um, fan speed and then setting the fan speed to 50 percent and so you save that and I usually just save these in the home folder so I don't really have to think too much. And then you go to the properties of the file you just created, go to permissions, and you check mark allow executing file as a program. Another way to do this is to just in the terminal uh, navigate to your home folder and then do chmod plus x to file your file name. So, uh. <coughs> After that, just search for your startup. And then you hit add. The name, it can be whatever you want. And then when you browse for it, you just hit that. And then open. Now I'm just, then you would click add, but I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it added right here. 
and I think that's about it. So, um, I don't think there's anything I missed. But just make sure... Oh, one final thing is when you are overclocking this, a safe temperature range is to be below 80 degrees Celsius. The 70 degrees Celsius range, it, it's warm, but it's not bad. And, and just lower is better. The lower you can make your temperatures, the better. But because if you get too high, you'll start to to a uh, thermal throttle and your your stuff will all slow down. So just try to aim for the 60 degree temp range. And, and I mean 70 will be fine, but you will be warm. And anything above 80 is just bad. Stay away from that. So um, I think that's about it. And if you like this video, please like it. Also, if you think I should get a GTX 1080 and make Linux videos, like it. If you hated this video or you don't like me, dislike it. And if you really liked it, maybe even subscribe. Um, my name is I'm Strogman. I make the music in these videos. If you like them, you can check it out on iTunes, Amazon. Rhapsody, it's on a whole bunch of stuff. But, um, thanks and have a great day.